about my faith. Revelation 12. Says. It says, we defeated him, him being Satan, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Amen. So with that right there, the Lord wants us to share with others what He has done in our lives for us. Without fail. First answer I come to is open your mouth. <laughs> yeah, <my God. laughs> Just open your mouth and talk to the person about what you believe. Live it out in front of them. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you feel like you need to tell somebody, tell them. I mean, that's that's you know that is a hard thing to do sometimes. You know, Brother Jason's even said it in the front of the pulpit. You know, the Lord nudges him to go talk to somebody and talk to him about his faith, and he just he doesn't do it. You know, I mean, we all get that nudge to do it, but. How do you do it? You just do it. You just open your mouth and let let the Lord speak for you. I mean, it says in Acts, it says go out and be disciples to Jerusalem, <coughs> Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about all that. He's talking about just do right. it. He's talking about McKinney go all the ends of it. and share the gospel with with everyone. It's, it's, That's how you share your faith. I can understand that from looking at the question. You think it's you know the new Christian. How do I share? I understand. That it's tough, but you just do it. You just do it. You don't. You don't hesitate. All by faith. And you, you have faith to do it. Faithful will. Yeah, you have to do it with your. You have to do it with your family. You start somewhere. It, yeah. it does no good whatsoever to go start evangelizing somebody and have a broken home at the house. Yeah. Yep. It does no good. The the promise came through Abraham, through his wife, through his children, his family, and then the nation. You know, it's got to go that way. Because if, if you're just going out and you have an agenda that you're going to evangelize and you're going to tell these people about Jesus, and they get close enough to you that your wreck, your life at home is a wreck, you just two faced hypocrite, you know, and you've done more damage to the kingdom of God, you know, not that God can't overcome it, all right, he's still he's still gonna put people in, in the way that they can, but they have to be able to to see it in your life. Right. I think they're saying their kids. Mm -hmm. I think the person that's asking that question is on two extremes. Either my testimony is not impactful enough, there wasn't this big aha moment kind of thing, so I'm just going to kind of write it out. Or it's so crazy, so wheels off that nobody's going to believe me. Right? So it's kind of those extremes. I think everybody in the middle is more comfortable maybe than those extremes, but at the end of the day, huh? Most of right, right. <laughs> but I mean, I, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. So God gave you a specific testimony for the specific purpose of witnessing to people that are on this side of the coin, and so on and so forth. So just you do you, and then let the Lord figure it out. And don't expect to see your results. That's right. Because you just brought this up here, but you reminded me of something. I was a, a, a groomsman at one of my buddy's weddings. 12 years ago, 13 years ago, something like that. And uh, we were barbecuing that night, sitting around the campfire and just talking. And, uh, and I, can't even, I can't really tell you what we're talking about. Because to me, it wasn't that impactful. And uh, six or seven years later, he was giving his testimony. Yeah. And behold, in giving his testimony, he was saved that night after that conversation. And I did not know anything about it until I heard him tell the testimony. And I can't even remember what, you said. what we talked about that was that impact. So to go back to what he's saying being biblical on that, it says one will plant a seed and one will water. But it's God that gives the increase. And if we'll just do the first two and get out of the way and don't worry about what's happening, God will give the increase in His time. That's it. Amen. What is grace? Unmerited favor. Yep. Yeah. Jesus. Unmerited favor. The Lord doing things for us and we, we didn't deserve it. it. Yeah. Well, what is yeah. the thing? Mercy is not getting what you do deserve and grace is getting what you don't deserve. Yeah. Did yeah. I say that right? Yeah, yeah. 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 That kind of that sums it up. Like 